Philips Racing Vision is designed in Germany and made in Poland. So that is uh, of the same wattage I said, uh, 60 bar 55 watts, and it fits on interceptor well. I'm going to remove one of them and replace my existing halogen bulb with Philips Racing Vision. So guys, this is the beam of the stock halogen bulb. You can see, this is my testing place and you can see the uh, brightness. Now I will be changing the bulb to Racing Vision which is from Philips and test again and to remove this cap I need to remove the visor and now I am going to replace one of the Racing Vision bulbs which is of the same wattage of the OEM so this OEM halogen has got a thicker filament as you can see close by if you can and this has got a bit thinner filament so it is uh, very small uh, it will not be captured uh, in the, this type of camera so as per the manufacturing process the thin filament will be more brighter especially the wattages are same for both that is 60 by 55 watts for interceptor and these uh, bulbs are also suitable for Maruti Suzuki Swift so I'm just going to remove one of them and placing back into the dome. Time to replace the bulb now. It goes into only one direction. So this way. So I'll fix it with both my hands and stopping the camera. One racing vision has gone into this and I fixed this clip. Uh, the time to fix this dome back into the vehicle with the visor. So this is the visor. Hey guys, welcome to Automotors Technica. This is Yogesh. So the difference between the Racing Vision and the OEM bulb is uh, the Racing Vision bulb tungsten filament is thinner than the OEM halogen bulbs. So if you see the color uh, spectrum, which is the brightness, this is a bit yellow and this is tends to be more uh, towards the whiter section but it is still yellow and that tends to be more brighter than the OEM bulb. So since the filament is thicker in OEM it tends towards the red uh, region and uh, since the filament is uh, thin here the heat is generated more and the color temperature in Kelvin happens to be towards the brighter side. So that is the difference and it has got a special gases such that uh, the tungsten filament stays for uh, more or uh, longer duration. However, the lifespan of the racing vision bulb is far lesser than the OEM halogen bulb. So if the uh, OEM halogen bulb comes for approximately three to four years, then the racing vision comes uh, to be approximately one year as per the actual reported by the users. So as per the specs, the racing vision lifespan is uh, 200 hours and this happens to be approximately nearly to be 400 uh, to uh, 800 hours. So this is a proper for 800 hours uh, halogen bulb and there is one more from Philips uh, which is called extreme vision. The lifespan is approximately 400 hours. So if I come back to the intensity, so if the color temperature you can see here, there is a bar. 
So this is H4. That H4 stands for uh, dual filament, which is mostly used in uh, Royal Enfield interceptor uh, and also in Maruti Suzuki. So this comes in pairs. So it is good to have in pairs so that if you want to put it, replace the bulbs which are very low intensity of your Maruti Suzuki into this racing vision. It is uh, quite fruitful. But uh, Maruti gives you a recommendation of uh, Philips Extreme Vision than the Racing Vision. Uh, it's up to you guys because uh, both are uh, tend to be street legal because it is 60 bar 55 watts. So there is no deviation from the OEM spec in the wattage. Now coming back to the intensity and color temperature, the Racing Vision falls in between uh, 3400 Kelvin and it tends towards more towards the uh, 3700 Kelvin. So what happens here is uh, your OEM uh, halogen bulb tends towards on the left side which is little bit more yellow and this is little bit more brighter towards the white. And if you see uh, the light span here, so this is the light span, uh, it is measured to up to 200 hours approximately but people have reported that it has come uh, approximately one year depending on the usage so if you are a most night driver and going often on highways I would like to recommend this racing vision or uh, uh, which is uh, for the bikes I definitely uh, started uh, using this uh, racing vision on my Royal Enfield interceptor because there's one to one match in the socket as well as the wattage so there is no problem of uh, uh, street legal complaints because nowadays uh, uh, it is very stringent actions are taken uh, if there is any change in the headlight if you change it to LED also it is not legal so this happens to be a proper legal because the wattage and uh, from a proper uh, specs and that will tend you to have a proper a vision on the highway without uh, having any much deviation onto the specs. So that's the difference between the OEM and the racing vision bulb. So here's an example of company tested uh, standard beam and the racing vision uh, beam. So the standard beam is a bit uh, low and towards uh, the uh, reddish tinge and in Philips Racing Vision it is quite bright and the intensity what they are put up in uh, with a star mark is up to 150% more brightness that means if you see the distance the throw is uh, more better so if you are having a mirror based headlight uh, this works better and if you have a projector based uh, headlight I believe you will not see much difference but the more difference is seen when you have a reflector based headlamp so if you see here uh, this is the company's uh, actual uh, shot on their uh, camera so that is uh, one standard and the fully facing vision the visibility is quite uh, noticeable and if you see here uh, what they are claiming here is up to 150 percent means the throw of the standard is from here to if this is 100 percent and the total throw is like extra so they claim it as plus 150 percent and that depends on your parameters of your headlight how the reflectors are and your how clean the headlight dome uh, front glass uh, is and coming back to my observation i have taken the videos with standard bulb uh, of oem halogen and after replacing the bulb from standard to philips racing vision uh, stay tuned for those videos in the same same testing spot with philips racing vision this is the low beam and this is the high beam High beam looks to be quite powerful. And there is a difference in luminosity. This is quite quite brighter than the 
OEM halogen bulb. This is the brightness of uh, low beam. High beam. Again, I'm coming back to low beam. I can see the difference. There is not one fifty percent, but uh, at least a fifty percent more brightness. I can see here. The company claims to be one fifty percent. That is because of the long throw. If I catch the throw, then I believe if you measure it using some meters. Lumina meters, it will be fine. Illumination meters are a bit uh, expensive. So what I feel is like it's the personal testing is better than any standard measurements. So let me know guys if you like my video subscribe and push a thumbs up button stay blessed